Hauser has been the best he has ever been across the course of 2022. He's really starting to fulfill his potential. We are off. Someone in the that middle was a there nearly went early. Without question. There's going to be a penalty. It's one of the Eagles. As soon as the gun goes, switch on. Race mode. Jamie Riddell and Matty Howes are both from the Eagles, both the, the form swimmers of, of the men's race, and they have gone straight to the front and opened up a huge gap. Hauser is actually second Max there, so it's Riddle that sets yeah. us out. So we look at the start again. Now that looks to me to be Riddle. So they've picked the wrong Eagle. There's the penalty from the false start from Matty Hauser. Yeah, he's going to be held there. It doesn't matter. The Eagles are still going to pick up the short through, through Jamie Riddle. He's been disqualified from the whole race, has he? No, nah, that's... That's tough. That that's is really good. tough. They're saying He's saying it wasn't him. It's pretty wild. I mean, I, I started with Super League Triathlon at the uh, the first event in Hamilton Island, and I've been all, all the way through. Um, I've I've loved every minute of it. It's uh, it's one of my favourite forms of racing, the short and sharp formats. Darren Hauser, my, my father, he came up to Macca at a at a cafe. I think it was in either Noosa or Mooloolabar Triathlon, and Dad happened to have his uh, biography on him. He came up and had a conversation with him, and uh, he basically signed it off for me and and said, "Good luck, Matt," uh, and it hold it dear to me. So yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty cool story to know that now I'm racing uh, basically in, in Macca's series right now. Without a doubt, over the years, Manny Hauser has been there or thereabouts on the Super League circuit, but this year is different. He wants it. Matty Hauser has come in here to execute. He has come in here to win. You know, technically he's getting better and better. His craft has been learned. His skills have been honed. He is Super League. Yeah, a lot more optimistic coming into the series. Um, not that I didn't believe that I could do well last year. Uh, it's just that, yeah, I guess previous form and momentum really shows, shows a lot and, um, and allows you, you know, to build on that self-belief and that courage. Yeah, it's definitely an encouraging thing to know that I'm in some of the best shape of my life and, you know, I can try and challenge with with the, the likes of Hayden, who's, you know, such an incredible athlete, and Johnny Brownlee and the, and the likes of that, so. Matt Hauser, who's now finally getting onto his bike after being held there for quite some time. Well, there's going to be some controversy after this one, there is no doubt about it. I almost don't want to leave the commentary box. The damage is done, the series is over, basically. He cannot be a champion. He's back there in 20th position. That's hard. Yeah, it really is. I was human. Like I was, I was feeling, feeling all like anger and frustration, and I knew it could cost me the race. It wasn't his penalty to serve. The officials made a big mistake, and it's got consequences. Like I was coming into it, knowing that I had the the potential to to do well. I was feeling really good, and obviously my previous results had shown that throughout the year. So I had had that penalty, and I was like, like Fuck, how am I going to get back from this? But then it just turned from from that to like, all right, like you gotta you gotta be courageous now, Matt. Like you gotta you gotta get going because this race isn't over yet. Stage two underway as they stream down the hill and around the back end of this course. If Matt Hauser can come out of this with a top five, that's a huge boost for him going into the rest of the series. It he's is. gonna race angry. He knows he needs to gap fields too, so he's gonna push pace because he's 12 seconds in the back. I know everyone's like harping on about, oh, Matt was racing angry, you know. All that stuff, which is you know, which is fair. It's a fair assumption. But I think I was just more like focused. I was just stripping it back and trying to take the emotion out of it and just doing all I can to get back into the race. Well, this is a massive transition Matty Hauser needs to go through. He's by far the strongest in the water. If he can get some open water and, and they miss his feet, he could pull back five or six of those seconds. Hauser currently sitting in fifth despite his penalty in stage one. And we've got time to go. So he gets into the water first. Either give in to your emotions and give in to your, to your thoughts. Um, or you can you can push those aside and you know rely on you know what you've got in you. Matt Hauser in stage one was nearly 10 seconds faster than both Wild and Yi. Yeah. Matty Hauser is going to roar out of this water. He, he would think I was 12 seconds down with the penalty. I was quicker than him. I've taken half of that gap in stage two. I can win this race. Yeah. He crosses the line. I was just saying, look, it happens. It's how you deal with it. Get your head in the game. You can still win this. You are physically the best athlete here in London. You can win this race, and I truly believe that. The others come across, clock ticking. 
11.1. Wow. Seconds between them, putting them all basically within a second of each other, which is an incredible race from Matt Hauser. Matt, you did a brilliant job of keeping in there on round one, a fantastic job of winning round two. You've got that short shoot all to play for on round three. That's it, yeah, it all comes down to this. So this is what we dream of, this is what we train for. So time, time to bring it home, baby. Let's go. There was a lot of work done in that second stage by Matt Hauser to get that gap. Is he paying for it? Is he fatigued now? Anger and frustration only take you so far yeah. when you're up against guys of this class. Transition, crucial as always. Hauser, Big no one. problems. Matt won't quit. Matt Hauser will not quit. I really do believe that I've got that next, that next gear. He had really bad luck in London. That wasn't his fault. And the way he dealt with that showed an amazing level of athlete maturity that I don't think we've seen from other young athletes that often. And Matt Hauser, a supreme performance from the Australian. I think Matt Hauser really, really rose to that. And I think the, we got the best outcome from a bad situation. Adam, you've got the swim jersey, okay? They're gonna sort it out. There's nothing you can do about that no. points, but you race yourself in the end. You're the fastest at the end. You guys are amazing. London. Um, I, I had a good start. Um, Jamie had an even better start, <laughs> and then they thought they thought I was Jamie. Poor Jamie, you know, thinking we look alike. That's uh, that's bad for him. Then it was kind of like after I'd like worked that hard and I just had like my head down the whole time, knowing that I was like in the race and I had a chance to win it. It was it was like relief more than anything, and I think I I paid a little bit for the uh, for the gas I burnt earlier on in the race. So I let Hayden in. To the race, I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have been that close to him in the swim. I should have gapped him, but that's the right class athlete he is. So hopefully we can start on a bit of an even playing field this uh, this weekend in Munich and see what we can do. It's an enduro, so it's like it's all about staying in the race and, and getting a good start early on. So um, yeah, we'll see. In London, you could argue that it should have been Matt Hauser's day were it not for that penalty. Matt can take that into the later races, thinking that I am in the form to win, I am in the form to beat Hayden. But Hayden is such a wily character. He is such an intelligent racer. So right now, I don't want to pick between them. <laughs> and here we go, round two of Super League Triathlon. We're here in Munich, the men's are go. Oh, the you know, I am one of the top guys this season. Like, I'm not, it's not just a one-off fluke and I was racing on anger. Well, where's Hauser? There is Hauser in the back of your screen. Oh, and the rain is starting to come down now here, which is gonna make the bike even tougher. With the rain coming down, and this is where the most dangerous lap, the first and second laps, when you're trying to move up and make up for the gaps you've lost in the swim, you take a little bit of chances through the corners. And Matty Hauser has been isolated. Look at the gap back now to That's Matt Hauser. Group. He's gone. Munich was a really interesting race because Matt Hauser looked like he was out of it for much of the race. He didn't look like he had his usual spark. He didn't look like the athlete that he was in London. He was dangling off the back of a pack of four athletes. He wasn't there. So at the moment, as it stands, if it finished like this, Hayden Wild would carry a five championship point lead into Malibu because Matt Hauser at the moment is currently in fifth position. And just as they went into the water for the final of the three swim bike runs, he had a deficit of over 10 seconds to make up to that group. How's a 12 seconds back? Big gaps forming now at the back of the field. It's mental. When you're being put under pressure, um, you can give up so easily and you've, you've got so many thoughts of doubts running through your mind. Race mode's like a similar analogy um, to the fact where you, like, you really got to switch on in high, 
high pressure like key moments during the race I've, I've really fed off that over the last couple of races i think it's it's moments where you just dig deep and go into that red zone and trust that your ability can pull you through as wild leads into the last swim of the day you see matt hauser head down and knows that this if he can swim across to this group he's in the hunt to win the race this is the biggest swim of the day for matt hauser it's all or nothing Hauser will be in this group by the end of this swim and this whole game has changed. Massive swim by Matt Hauser to put himself in the game. And he put in the most unbelievable swim. He used that weapon that he's got in the water to pop himself back onto that group. And Matty Hauser has to put his head down on this lap, close the gap, otherwise it'll be a group of three. Has he got it in him? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Do not go anywhere because this run is going to be incredible. All the teams are represented in this finish. Five different nationalities, five different teams, and they're led by the Falcon, Hayden Wilde, who did it last week. Can he do it again? He's got an immense run. And Howes has found his way back from obscurity into third. Matt Howes are looking oh, wow. fantastic. What a race from Matt. Look he was that. 14 seconds down at the end of stage two, and now he is leading this race. And he's come back in he's here, and he's hot. absolutely he's sticking it to Wild. And Velaza here, this is phenomenal running from Matt Hauser, who looked dead and breath buried. Yes. Matt Hauser is Big putting down one of the great runs, again coming back from a significant deficit. <laughs> Matt Hauser denied last week, takes it this week. Matt Hauser is your Munich champion. What an effort. And Hayden Wild this time did not have the run. And that is the second week in a row of an incredible performance from Matt Hauser. Hard then. It wasn't easy, but you did really well. Oh, mate, it was so impressive. They got short shoots, you didn't. You're running the quickest, let alone the swim and the bike. From Australia, representing Team Eagles, Matthew Hauser. The first thing you remember, without a doubt, it means everything, especially given given how he turned it around. It feels pretty surreal, to be honest. Like, I look back 12, 18 months ago, and I remember seeing their results and being in the races with, with the likes of Alex and Hayden and just going, man, I'm going to have to work a hell of a lot harder than these guys to try and get up to where they are. And, I was just super motivated because I knew that if I if I missed the boat on this kind of next generation moving forward, then I, you know, that's that's my career kind of thing. So I really didn't want to miss that boat. I really didn't want to keep reading articles going the Hayden and Alex battle. I really wanted to be the Hayden, Alex and Matt battle. So thankfully I've, I've proved my point so far and I can hopefully continue to do so. Yeah, another one. Are you, you just know you or what? Huh? You don't know <laughs> That's graceful. This year I've really embraced triathlon as, as my profession, as my full-time job. After COVID and not having the ability to travel and race and go to all these really nice places, it definitely makes it a lot easier to be on the road. It's not something to be taken for granted. Like this life that we lead is, is pretty special and we're, we're pretty lucky to be, to be doing what we're doing. So, and I feel very, uh, feel very fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's going to be going down on the way out, Until so if it's coming in and going Yeah, the swim's always been a nice thing to have in the back pocket, especially the start of the swim. I mean, being only 300 metres, it's, it's all about top end anaerobic work, so... And we're coming into Malibu this weekend, we've got the surf. Gold Coast boys should hopefully uh, hopefully suit me. It's just all about, like, head down and, uh, and, and go for it, yeah. Get him, boys. Here is Oliver, round the corner, high footy. High. I'm in the lead right now. Like, there's no opportunity to to take your foot off the gas. Like, you've got to keep going because you know these guys coming from behind, they're going to be, you know, just as eager and just as motivated to to come over the top because because they want to be where you are. Ultimately, they want to try and take it off you. So you've got to fight to fight to consolidate that. So it's a new position for me. And I'm I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure, but um, yeah, I can't wait to get to get to battle. Very comfortable with the favourites tag, Matt Hauser. He's been another mainstay of this competing, I guess, and Super League 
when uh, I think his dad cornered you in a cafe and said, yeah. my son's the four-time Oceania champion. He deserves a spot. And now he's the championship leader. He more than deserves a spot. He could win this entire series. He's really come of age. You watch these athletes grow up through the series and grow up through the for the world triathlon racing. And, and Matty Hauser, one of those exceptional young talents that is just showing his form and is no longer frightened of the big names. And that's the big difference. Fast start, plenty of testosterone running into the water as they get things underway. Of course, Matt Hauser and Jamie Riddell are on that right side and always look very, very quick indeed. Matt Hauser off the front. This is what he had to say about the swim and what he needs to do. With the final race being a pursuit start, I think it means you need to be on the whole race. You can't you can't take your foot off the gas at all. So um, there's going to be gaps that are going to be made and uh, hopefully I can do some damage. Reed's there as well. Riddle, but I don't see McQueen as Hauser again like he did last year. Catches a little one, not too Chase long. It. And Reed as well as they elbow each other on the way up to see who takes the points for the fastest lap. Takes that short shoot as well. And Reed and Hauser are sprinting away with it. And I think it's going to be Hauser in the end crossing the line. But how about that? We're going to have to see that again. I think there was a little bit of bargy there. And across the line, the Eagles pick up a short shoot and Matt Hauser looks the more composed of the two out the front as it stands at the moment. What would you say to Matt now if you could whisper something in his ear? He's out in front on his own, he's got a big group behind him. Stick to the plan, he knows what he's got to do, he knows how to do it. He's got to get his distance from Hayden and Vasco, the class runners, so he is in total control. Matt Hauser, confirmation at this point that he took that um, faster swim by one tenth of a second from Taylor Reid. It is, as we said, a game of inches. Was that one there? Oh. It's not, that's not that bad. That's like two weeks of heelage, isn't it? The worst ones are on the feet, like that's just, there we go. Only, only feet. Matt Howes is down in exactly wow. the same place as Georgia Taylor Brown. Shocking. That changes Just a rookie everything. mistake, really, it's eh? Absolute deja vu here at Super League Triathlon, and this time, and again, it's the championship leader. Unbelievable. Matt Howes has overcooked that turn. I hope we've got that on, on screen. All by himself. Drama. Fire. That was. That's tough watching that back. That, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, dis disappointment, I guess. Yeah, um, I guess that was my series right there, and that, in that second corner of the bike, on that, on that second lap. So, yeah. Hauser, Bove, Worth are your three that are looking to be potentially eliminated. He has to do it. He has no choice. If he doesn't, it's the end of the day for Matt Hauser. And potentially the end of the series. Really yeah. could really cost him that title. A little bit of blood pouring out from the elbow of Matt Hauser, and I think that he is going to find himself being shown the elimination flag. So your championship leader gets the yellow flag. Who would have thought what a day for Matt Hauser, and he didn't know either by the look of it. Certainly hurts physically and mentally, but yeah, I guess that's something you just have to get over pretty quick. You know, you're back on the start line in two weeks time, so you just gotta you just got to keep fighting the good fight, I guess, you know. It's just how racing is. And like I really started to believe after after Munich as well. And I thought Malibu would be a really good opportunity to consolidate my lead. Like I felt really good in that first first part of the race in the first leg and um, yeah, just came unstuck. But shit happens like that, I guess. It can come unstuck in an instant, you know. Not dissimilar to life, so yeah. Man, heartbreak happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything was going great. It was a good swim. We got the short shoot. He was on the bike. He was riding within himself. He didn't do anything wrong. He, he overcooked a corner, lost the front wheel, went down. Uh, the pack came past him. He jumped on his bike, chain was off. By the time he got his bike on, he was in no man's land. He rode hard, but Hayden's a smart guy, man. He's a clever racer. He knew he had to get to the front. Vasco knew he had to get to the front. They were driving the pace hard. But um, he got eliminated. He got zero points. That's tough. That, how do you come back from that? You, 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 you go from series leader to not being a contender for the series win. You go from someone who's got third and first to someone who gets eliminated. You don't see that coming.
Someone like Matt, he, he's, he's got that kind of classic boxer mentality. You get knocked down seven times, but you get up eight times. I've just seen a split. I didn't think I saw Matt Hauser come through in that pack. He is 53 seconds down. Wow, Something right. happened to him in that final bike lap. He's currently going into the water. He went in in 15th position, 53 seconds down on Hayden Wild. There must have been an incident on that final lap. When the Scorpions went down in front of him in Toulouse, he jumped up like a jack-in-the-box. He sprang up, he wanted to jump back on this bike. He knew he could fight. He knew he could still, still, still execute a good race. That's character right there. I think, I think everything that happened in London, I think even the win and how he won in Munich and then the crash, the disappointment of Malibu, he was, what more could happen and he could still fight on. When Manny started the run in Toulouse, he was 53 seconds behind Hayden. Yeah, he finished fourth. No one does that. Hauser comes back for an incredible fourth. I cannot believe he has run back to that from 53 seconds down. It doesn't seem possible. That's how good he is, and he's here. Well, Matt Hauser has just put the foot down. Matt Hauser, who has had a torrid time in Super League in season 2022, yeah. and now could he end on a high? Matt Hauser deserves to do that because he has fought back consistently from mistakes. This is absolutely fantastic from, from Matt and just shows what a force he's going to be over the years to come. Matt Hauser has fought back and fought back and deserves this. The Australian with his second race win of the season and the first men's race in Neom is done and it goes to an Aussie. Matt Hauser is your winner and he deserves it and you can see how much it means to him. This is, this is the man for the future of Super League. Hayden and Matty Hauser are gonna be going battle upon battle in years to come. This is the start of something special, a rivalry that has been forged in Super League, but will be won out there on the race course.